father. I could be a priest? That's Jim Coleman, but he's playing someone you may not know about, raising curtains around the country. I feel like it's a story that hasn't been told. They need the bread of life, and who else will give it to them? He's playing Father Augustus Tolton, a former slave turned priest, and in all his 30 years of acting, Coleman calls this role his most fulfilling. The Catholic Theater Ministry St. Luke's production puts on one-man plays showing the life stories of popular saints. But for the first time, they are telling the story of a man not yet canonized. It is important because that's part of our black Catholic history. Still away, still away. Augustus Tolton was born a slave in 1854. As a child, his mother brought him from chains in Missouri to freedom in Illinois. It was there that Augustus would meet the man who would change his life, a Roman Catholic priest. To be so forward thinking and to be so colorblind, to say, come, you're welcome. His name was Father Peter McGurr, and he brought Augustus into an all-white Catholic school so he can receive a good education. He also helped him discover what history refers to as his calling, the first African-American priest in the United States. He fought. He begged, he pleaded, but no seminary in America would take him. Eventually, Augustus was accepted into a seminary in Rome. After ordination, he was sent back to the United States to serve, but he was not welcomed by his flock. There is too many white folk going there. Get that new group of church out of my money now. In spite of how he was treated, he never transferred that negative behavior on his congregation. It is that life of virtue that has led to Father Tolton's canonization cause. If accepted, Father Tolton would be the first African-American saint. I want him to be a saint. He's already in saint, in, in, you know, by God. So we are the one who need to appreciate all the things that we did for us. Because even over a century after his death, Father Tolton's message still lives on. That Jesus loves us. And he expects us to love one another just as he loves us. He showed that um, despite, you know, his hardships, he was still, you know, able to come back and, you know, put, you know, the injustice aside and help people. In Queens Village, Katie Angusser, Currents News.